Welcome to To Be Free, a podcast that illuminates the pathway to true freedom. This is your host, Laura Jane Haver. I am a passionate freedompreneur and a freedom and empowerment coach, helping others heal and liberate themselves from the inside out so they can live an empowered life of deep fulfillment, true north alignment, and freedom. I am also here to support light leaders, paradigm shifters, change makers, and aspiring freedompreneurs who hear the call to create their own true north aligned, heart centered, soulful businesses and share their authentic truth to serve their mission. Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I'm so grateful you're here with me. Today, I am talking about escaping the rat race and living life on your own terms. So first, what is the rat race? The way I explain the rat race is that You're constantly chasing a moving target of happiness. You're always chasing the next best thing, the next promotion, the next pay raise, the next vacation, the next big break. It's an endless pursuit of more success, more money, more achievement, more applause, more validation, more praise, more, 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 and more. And You feel like once you reach more, you're going to be happier. And the race part of the rat race is that in this realm, it can feel extremely competitive. We can easily compare ourselves to everyone else around us. Who is achieving more? Who's more successful? Who can climb the corporate ladder the fastest? Et cetera, et cetera. It's an exhausting, repetitive chase that doesn't leave much space for you to leisurely enjoy your life or spend your days as you please, doing what you truly love and following your passion. You get weekends and vacation days, but that's really it, and then you're back in the race. And in this race, it's really challenging to slow down, reflect on your life, listen to your heart, and make decisions from your heart. And this is because our ego is in the driver's seat. Our egos are important to keep us driven, yet our ego should always be in the passenger seat, not the driver's seat. But in the rat race, our egos are often driving the car. Let me think of an example where our ego is driving the car. And actually, there is something I just thought of, and it's something that I did in the past while in the rat race. So... I think many others might be able to relate to this. You might take a new job and be super excited to post that new job on LinkedIn for applause and praise and validation, but you aren't actually truly excited about the work itself. The ego is chasing an image instead of focusing on our actual fulfillment in our life's work. Or another example is that the ego out of wanting more takes a job just because it's a pay raise, even though the work itself is just blah. It's not a match and it's not work that we're even passionate about. Not at all. So a little reflection for today. Here are some questions to ask yourself. And to be brutally honest with yourself about the answers, which self-honesty is a superpower. Do you actually even enjoy the work that your job entails? Does it light you up? Does it energize you, motivate you, inspire you, and fulfill you? Do you wake up stoked to get to work in Carpe Diem? If not, you're out of alignment with your heart and soul. You're out of alignment with your true north, which frequently happens in the rat race. In this race, it's hard to live in alignment and it's hard to be truly present in our lives because this race keeps us consumed by the next thing and the next and the next. And we're always looking ahead for more. We're not tuning into our hearts 
and letting our heart's true desires lead the way. We're consumed by the chase. And this chase can start to feel like Groundhog's Day. You're going through the same daily routine, the same commute, the same conversations, the same feelings, the same mindset. All of it is just the same, same, same. The rat race and hamster wheel go hand in hand. And there's truly no real deep fulfillment in this endless pursuit or this type of lifestyle. And it's actually very depleting and draining, and it takes up all of our precious energy. I know this because I spent a decade in the rat race. I began my career in News Corp headquarters in New York City, which was such a grind. Then I went to work at Google and Square, and I went to work at Google a second time for ego-driven reasons. And throughout my time at all of these companies, I found myself on many endless chases, chasing a moving target of happiness. And I caught myself on several hamster wheels. I would change things up like every couple years by working at different companies, taking on different sales roles. But for me, I just felt like I couldn't escape that pursuit of more, 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 more. It was addicting. It felt like I had to get my fix. And I was in sales. So I was constantly chasing quotas monthly, quarterly, annually. I always had a number dangling above my head that determined my success, my paycheck amounts, and my on paper value. And I was competing with everyone around me to be the top sales rep. It was so draining. And when we're in this race, there's actually no real winning of the race. We might temporarily feel like we're on top, but it's fleeting. And then we're back to the chase of more. We're just endlessly running laps and climbing ladders, and for me, chasing quotas. So it's hard for us to see a way out, especially when we feel like the only way to survive on earth is to work these nine to five demanding jobs that give us no time freedom in exchange for a paycheck every other week, which this is survival mode. And this is a limiting belief that we hold in our mind, that the only way to survive is to work a nine-to-five. And this limiting belief comes from societal conditioning and matrix programming. So when we hold on to this limiting, disempowering belief, we end up having tunnel vision. We don't see any other possibilities, or maybe we do. We can visualize them daydream about them, or look into other ways to live, like we might look into starting a True North Aligned online business, but it all feels just so overwhelming or too hard, too unrealistic, not logical to forge this different path because it's out of our comfort zone. And so it can feel scary. And our ego, who is addicted to the rat race and the chase to more, will tell us all the disempowering reasons it's not possible for us to live a different way. We truly do get sucked into this vortex and it takes a lot of mind power, resiliency, passion, and perseverance to get out of this vortex, to declare that we are exiting the rat race. And to exit this race, we have to take our power back and let our hearts guide us. We have to lean into self-confidence and self-love. We have to master our beliefs. We have to shift our perspective and expand our consciousness to see that there's a totally different, more peaceful and deeply fulfilling lifestyle that we can choose. A lifestyle full of presence, joy, abundance, passion, and freedom. A lifestyle where we can spend our days as freely as we please, including weekdays, while also being of service to others and the world. We can escape the rat race. We have a choice and free will to do so. And this leads to a liberating AF realm of freedom beyond what we can even fathom. And I'm so excited to share that I created a free ebook gift for you. It is a guide of how you can escape the rat race 
and start to live life on your own terms. You can download this free ebook by clicking the link in the show notes. I'm so honored to guide you and so excited for you to read this guide so that you can be free and thrive. And with that, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I am so grateful for you. Until next time.